This is Duke University. In 2004, Hurricane Francis wiped out these Caribbean lizards from the keys surrounding the Bahamas. Because the islands were empty, Duke biologist Manuel Leal and his colleagues took the opportunity to use them to study evolution. The scientists were interested in the founder effect, where traits from the original population can still be seen in later generations. Leal and his collaborators collected lizards from a larger nearby island. Individuals came from this source population, which actually have very tall vegetation, and it's, you can see all these big trees. To climb the large trees, the lizards needed longer legs. But the scientists were curious to see what would happen if they paired the lizards up and put them on seven of the surrounding keys, which only had twig-like brush. After releasing the lizards in 2005, the scientists came back year after year to check on their evolutionary experiment. The team found that by natural selection, all the lizards' legs got shorter. But the brush on the keys is very similar, and yet the lizards' legs did not all shorten to the same size. The islands founded by lizards with the longest legs still had the lizards with the longest legs, and the islands founded by short-legged lizards still had lizards with the shortest legs. The scientists were seeing the founder effect firsthand. Leal says that the next step in the research will be to continue to watch the lizards and see how long the founder effect persists before other evolutionary factors erase its signature. Produced by Duke University. Online at duke.edu.